Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. We're going to look at subscriptions, the part of Octopus that allows you to subscribe to events within the system and react accordingly. We'll configure a subscription to send an email and then test it. Let's get started. We're going to set up a subscription to notify our server admin team when any of the deployment target machines in our production environment are in trouble. To configure our subscription, we need to navigate to Configuration, Subscriptions, and then Add a Subscription. We'll set the name as Production Machine Health, and make sure that the subscription is enabled. Next, we have the Event Filters. This is where you choose which events within Octopus you'd like to subscribe to. Event groups logically associate events for common scenarios. The group we need is Machine is no longer available for deployment. Once selected, this shows the specific events included in the group. Machines in development and test environments are often somewhat transient. We will specify that the subscription should only notify us if the machines are associated with the production environment. So let's add a filter for that now. This subscription is going to send email notifications to the server admin team configured in Octopus. So let's select that. We'll set the subscription frequency to be every hour. No email will be sent if no events occur. Something to note here is that subscription email notifications compose a digest of events that have happened since the previous email. That's all the email settings we need. Before we test the subscription, let's look where you could configure an alternative to the email notification, a webhook. In contrast to the email, which will only send on the schedule specified, the webhook will fire for every event. Let's save those settings and test the subscription. I have a healthy deployment target here. If I stop the Octopus Tentacle service, and then run a health check. We can see that health check fail. And then a little later, we see process subscriptions. And this is the email that's been sent. Here are some other ideas for subscriptions that you may find useful. A daily digest email to inform stakeholders which projects have gone to production. You might want to notify admins when a user is added or amended. Maybe you'd like to be informed when a new project is created. Or get a notification about build information events. That's the basics of subscriptions in Octopus Deploy. Be sure to check out our other Getting Started videos, and thanks for watching. Happy deployments!